Welcome to part one of my May micro brand showcase. In this video, we're going to take a look at a pretty interesting watch. This is a watch that features great specs. It's got a sapphire crystal, 100 meters of water resistance, and an incredibly unique complication going on with this mechanical movement. It's got a jumping hour hand, and it's a cartoon watch. And in this five video series, I'm going to be doing mini reviews of a whole bunch of different amazing micro brand watches. So here's a quick preview of what you're gonna see, and then let's jump in and talk about the Vario Navi Popeye. Hey guys, welcome back to Just The Watch. My name's Dave, I live in Japan, and I love to collect affordable watches. Each month here on the channel, I do a segment looking at the most interesting micro brands that are available right now. And this month I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. Rather than combining everything into one video, I've broken up each section into its own separate mini review. So we've got five watches, five short videos, and I've got cards at the end of each video that allow you to click on the next one. So just watch till the end, you'll get your option to pick the next video in the series you wanna see. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun this way. And that's a great segue into our first watch. We're gonna be taking a look at a new watch from Vario that is very interesting on a lot of levels. This is probably the highest quality cartoon watch that I've ever heard of. Typically when you think of like these Mickey Mouse or Snoopy watches, for the most part you think of things that come from like Timex that are pretty cheap and affordable. And then obviously you have the Snoopy Moon watch way on the other side. But Vario has put out a really high quality, interesting cartoon watch with their Navi Popeye edition. Now I do need to mention this watch was given to me by Vario for free. However, other than the watch itself, I did not receive any compensation from Vario, nor did they have any input into the content of this review. Let's take a look at it. Vario has done a lot of interesting and unique watches, but this Navi Popeye really takes things to a whole new level. Not only does it have a bright and animated cartoon character on the dial, but it also has a very interesting automatic movement inside of it, which features a jumping hour complication, uh, which makes reading the time on this watch really unlike anything else that I've personally seen. And in spite of the fact that this is a cartoon watch, the level of quality in both the finishing and the build really makes sure that this doesn't feel at all like a toy. You're getting a solid stainless steel case, sapphire crystal, and 100 meters of water resistance. And the watch is paired on a very rugged, heavy-duty Cordura strap that just matches perfectly with the nautical theme of the watch. Now we'll get to all the cool details and finishing work in a minute, but first we need to just talk about how this thing actually works. A jumping hour complication on a mechanical movement is a fairly rare complication which displays the hour in a static format, where a normal hour hand on a watch smoothly sweeps around the watch face in 12 hour cycles. A jumping hour always points to or displays the current hour and then instantly jumps to the next hour when the minute hand gets back to the 12 o'clock position. In this case, the hour is displayed on a wheel similar to like a date wheel. So just under 12 o'clock on the dial, you have a little window that looks a lot like a porthole, which will always display the current hour and then snap over to the next hour when the minute hand completes its cycle. But given that this is a Popeye watch, the minute hand is literally Popeye's hand, or more accurately, his hand and massive forearm. Like so many classic cartoon watches, the character here will be pointing to the minute with his hand. So for example, the time displayed in this shot is 10 after 10, or every watch photographer's favorite time of the day. Now this watch also has a small seconds complication. However, you can't really read the seconds on this. Instead, the seconds hand is a can of spinach that seems perpetually spilling. It's in a slightly awkward position, but it does give the watch a really fun kind of animated look. Now the mechanical movement that's bringing all of this to life is the Siegel ST1721. This is a Chinese made automatic movement that features about 40 hours of power reserve. It has hand winding, but not hacking. But given that there's no real way to read the seconds anyways, the lack of hacking isn't really a problem. Some people are gonna find the choice of a Chinese movement to be a major turnoff for this watch. But to my knowledge, there's really no other affordable alternative to this movement. Jumping hour complications are typically found only on pretty high-end luxury watches. Now, Siegel is known for making pretty decent affordable movements, but they are generally considered a step down in terms of both quality and accuracy in compared to Japanese or Swiss automatic movements. That said, for anybody who is collecting watches and doesn't have a lot of money, this is going to be probably your only chance to get your hands on a watch like this. 
and while the quality of the movement may be a little bit of an unknown, the quality of the rest of the watch is really top notch. Case finishing is all brushed and it's done pretty nicely. I particularly like the beveling on the lugs, which gives them a kind of a subtle twisted effect. The grooved bezel is kind of reminiscent of a nautical rope, and the playful sign crown looks like a sailor's hat. On the dial, the Popeye figure is printed in very high quality and vibrant colors, and he's set against a wave-like embossed pattern on the background of the dial that is both fun and playful. Around that, you've got a bright blue ring that houses the minute track with rounded metallic indexes pressing into a wide sloping chaptering. All of this makes for a very dynamic and interesting dial that also has a lot of depth to it. At 38 millimeters, this is a little bit smaller than I typically wear. However, the watch has so much presence and character that it doesn't really look small at all on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Coming in at right around $400, I think this is gonna be more than a lot of people are gonna to wanna to pay for kind of a novelty watch with a Siegel powered movement inside of it. But if you happen to both be a fan of the Popeye character and of mechanical watches with very interesting complications, then this is one you're probably not gonna to wanna to miss. All right, now you can pick up this watch right now from Vario on their website. It is available for purchase. So I'll leave a link to them down below if you wanna check it out. Okay, let's move on and take a look at some more micro brand watches. I'm actually gonna give you two options here. You can jump straight over to part two and check out the Ando 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 watch, or skip down to part three and check out this cool vintage Seiko homage from Mercur. Ando 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 has a really unique asymmetrical case design and the Mercur just has some great vintage looks and a pretty high build quality for its price.